Good morning, everybody. It's 930 right now. Welcome back to Iowa Live. Lou and Jackie here Good giving morning. you some ideas of some things you can do, especially, uh, you know, over the next week or so when people are looking for activities. Boy, we have some fun things you can do over at the Science Center, Jackie. Uh, so excited to have one of our dear friends of the program joining us this morning, Emily Richardson. Yes, with the Science Center of Iowa, which is open and they're taking all the safety protocols in place because Emily, there's some incredible things happening at the Science Center and one of them being a big old dinosaur named <laughs> Sue. Yeah, just just that little thing. Yeah, little, little thing, thing you know. yeah. And this is so neat that we have it here in Des Moines. <laughs> Yeah, and actually, um, this is the first stop on Sue's North American tour. So it's really exciting to have it here at the Science Center of Iowa. Sue has been here since Labor Day, um, but the exhibit is coming to an end. It ends January 10th. So if you are um, looking to see Sue, if you haven't been down to the Science Center yet, or if you want to see Sue one more time before uh, the exhibit leaves, you're going to want to make those plans soon. So Sue is what a T-Rex, is that correct? The largest, the most complete, and the best T preserved T-Rex ever found, um, was discovered in South Dakota. And the exhibit features not only the skeleton of the T-Rex, but also a meaty version, which I think really gives a sense of scale that you don't get with just the skeleton. To see the meaty version sitting there with enormous feet and these big eyes looking at you, um, that's pretty impressive. There's also a Triceratops skeleton. And the other really neat thing is that it's very sensory experience. So it's not just looking at these things, but there are opportunities to touch and feel safely. There are opportunities to hear and feel um, Sue's roar and even to smell some things. There are some nice smelling things and then there's Sue's <laughs> breath, which um, do that at your own risk. Not so nice, huh? <laughs> yeah. I'm sure it's a, it's a huge selfie stop, isn't it? It definitely is. Sue selfies have been super popular. We're actually doing a promotion right now where if you tag the Science Center and a couple of hashtags, um, you can be entered to win a prize package with Catch Des Moines. Ah, Absolutely. And we do want to let everybody know you are open for winter break. So when are we able yes. to come and check out all the incredible exhibits at the Science Center? Yeah, so um, up until now, we've been open limited hours, just Thursday, Saturdays, and Sundays. Um, so we will be open this Thursday. We'll be closed on Friday. But starting this Saturday, we will be open every single day, minus Christmas Day, through the end of the year, wow. actually through January 3rd. Um, and then we'll have that Thursday, Saturday, Sunday of closing weekend to see Sue. And we'll go back to our regular um, Thursday, Saturday, Sundays, yep. hours after that. What uh, are some of the comments that people are making when they, when they walk up and they see Sue for the first time? Oh man, it's so fun. Um, I've been working some weekends and just to be there sitting in front of Sue and see the people come around the box office corners, their eyes light up, the little kids start running towards Sue. Um, you know, there's sometimes that initial fear factor of like, what is this thing sitting in front of me? Um, but there's just so much curiosity. I feel like everybody at some point in their life has gone through a dinosaur phase um, where you're super fascinated by them. Um, and we're definitely experiencing that down at the Science Center. And I feel like even if you've seen zoo or a form of the Sioux exhibit, you haven't seen it like this. Uh, they've added, like you said, so many sensory opportunities and technology that it's going to yeah. take it to a whole new degree. But let's stay on the theme of dinosaur or an extinction mm -hmm. because that seems to be a theme you guys are using as we're heading into 2021. What's going on? That's true. So a lot of people will know and remember our classic noon year's Eve event where we count down to noon and drop thousands of balloons to hundreds of people standing in our um, one of our big rooms. Unfortunately, with 2020 and all of our socially distancing rules, that we realized wasn't going to happen. So we are sitting around and thinking, what are some fun ways that we can still celebrate the new year? Um, and we all kind of looked at each other and said, we're ready for this year to go extinct. And Sue's about ready to go extinct at the Science Center. So we're doing a countdown to extinction. And we will be talking about some of the different theories around the dinosaur extinction. We'll also be we, we can't send out the year without a bang. I mean, we're the Science Center of Iowa. Right. So we will still be having a fun, explosive um, celebration. Uh, we're going to actually send an asteroid down and uh, make a kind of asteroid impact. There will be <laughs> themed activities as well as some of our classic programming. Uh, all of our activities are included with that day, but we do have those two ticketing time slots like we have every single day. So 9 to noon or 1 to 4 p.m. 
All okay, right. I love it. Count down to extinction because a lot of us would like 2020 to definitely Can't wait for be that. Yeah. extinct. All right. <laughs> we also want to talk about something very special for the holidays because I want to, is the title correct? You're an ambassador to NASA. Is that is that the correct title? NASA Solar System Ambassador, yes. Okay, thank okay. you. That is the proper way of saying it, which I think is an incredible <laughs> title. So when I heard everybody doing a buzz about a Christmas star on social media, I instantly reached out to you, being uh, some, the per closest person I know to NASA, uh, mm -hmm. and asked if this was an actual real thing. And your response was yes. Can you explain what that yeah. means about the Christmas star? Yes, so um, people who are up late at night or looking around at the sky might have noticed over the last, actually several months, there have been a couple of really bright objects in the southwestern sky. Um, and the way that I point out planets is that they don't twinkle. Uh, you know the nursery rhyme, twinkle, twinkle, little star, but it's actually true. Planets don't twinkle. If you look at them, they have a more consist consistent light. Those two bright dots, the, they're planets, and they were Jupiter and Saturn. Throughout the last couple months, they've been getting closer and closer and closer. And here in the next few days, they will be getting as close as they've been in 800 years. Wow. Um, they, we call this a conjunction. And so they'll actually be about the fifth of the distance of a full moon. So very, very, very close. Um, and if you think about it, they will almost, they'll almost look like they're a single star. Um, and the reason that it gets the name the Christmas star is because astronomers have tracked it back. Because this doesn't happen very often, they're able to track back with the orbits of the planets and see when it's happened in history. The last time it happened was in 1266, but a couple of times before that, they believe was right around zero AD or BC, right around the turn there, which would give it the name the Christmas star. And, and so we could see that again tonight, right? We can see it tonight. They will be not as close as they will be here on the 21st. December 21st is when they will get to be the very closest. Excellent. Um, but they're super bright, um, just down there in the southwestern sky. Um, you'll definitely notice them if you have a clear sky. And it's it's totally visible with the naked eye, too. You don't need any telescopes or binoculars or anything to see them. That's awesome. Right. This is why I love you, yeah. and this is why you are an ambassador to NASA here locally, and we appreciate that so very much. Emily, you covered so many wonderful things when it comes to science and the Science Center today. Where do people need to go to get more details about all the great things they need to come out and experience, especially over winter holiday break? Yeah, check out our website, sciowa.org, or follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, where we'll be sharing lots of cool information about all this stuff, too. Yeah, we're going to have to head down and take a picture with Sue. That sounds like a yeah. game plan. Emily, thank you so very much. Happy holidays, and thank you for everything that's happening at the Science Center of Iowa. Thank you, guys. Great to see you. Thank Great you. to see you. Bye-bye.